Hi, I'm Neil Adams with CircuitCheck. You may remember me as the product line manager over in Circuit Fixtures. Now I'm the sales manager here. This is Bill. I'm Bill Crother. I am the development and security manager over at CircuitCheck. And we're going to discuss the Vortex series today. So Neil, what is the Vortex series? Well, the Vortex series is more than just a vacuum box. You probably noticed this is a pretty nice looking uh, one piece aluminum box, but beyond the box, it's almost a fixturing uh, revolution or it's an evolution of what we've done in the past. Because in addition to the vacuum box, you change the inside, you got rid of the top plate and all the peripheral hardware that worked with the top plate and just have the vacuum box sitting on top of the pro plate. Vacuum is introduced to both the front and rear of this, and the board sits on a stripper plate, much like in our normal vacuum box fixtures. But the big thing is, we got rid of the top plate. So, that getting rid of the top plate forced us to redesign the entire kit so we could get the vacuum in place, with pitch points uh, protected, and have all the hardware for holding the vacuum box engine and latching it in place. Bill, what benefits will our customers expect to see? One of the first large benefits of several is that the, the Vortex series really maximizes the small 3070 platform. Front to back and left to right. Another large benefit that was commonly requested from our customer is how can I get access to the top side probing for debug purposes? Mm -hmm. What we have right now on the Vortex series is that we have a rigid bell cover with an insert plate that can be easily removed. Once this insert plate is removed, all receptacle tails, all additional components on top, anything wired into the test fixture can be accessed and debugged while the, the fixture is still under actuation. That's a huge benefit, Bill. Another big benefit that we saw and we're seeing more and more often uh, with their introduction of cobalt robots is the open angle of these fixtures. With the advanced hinge assembly designed into this with a lower hinge point, we are the customer is now able to open up the fixture to almost a full 90 degree angle. And as you can see inside the fixture, as was, as Neil mentioned earlier, is that we really reduce the component count and the complexity within the wear items by introducing a common stripper plate configuration. True. You know, Bill, one of the big benefits of a past vacuum box was a floating jumper plate. The down, downside of that floating jumper plate is we didn't have access to the backside of the receptacles like we do now. Does this one still float? It does, Neil. We still are able to achieve our same floating on our top side hits and our top side probe. Wow, so that means we have the benefit of floating jumper accurate top side probe hits as well as being, being able to touch the backside of the receptacle during debug. And what's also a little hidden feature in this is that we've actually increased the topside travel of this vacuum box. Really? And before we were sitting around a quarter inch of travel, where now the new Vortex introduces almost three quarters of inch of travel, allowing for less radio motion issues and less risk of damage in the circuit motion. So that reduced amount of radio motion allows us to put board supports and push downs closer to the components? Correct. And that's going to reduce possible strain issues? Sure will. Wow. So that's like the trifecta here, huh? It sure is. <laughs>